Hello, so this is a follow-up to my video on graphic settings where I came up with what I thought was the best balance settings between how the game looks and your frame rate. So we're going to be testing this out by comparing low settings versus ultra settings and the custom settings that I kind of came up with. So the low settings are pretty simple. Right hand side is the default low, left hand side we've got motion blur off and we have weaponed off off and we have resolution scale at 100% and you'll see graphics test low in the top left hand corner. For the ultra settings, right hand side we've got the preset ultra, on the left hand side got motion blur at 15%, weaponed off on and resolution scale is 120% and again you're going to get graphics test ultra in that left hand corner. The custom settings are a bit more complicated. Now these aren't the best settings for frame rate. I'm not attempting to get the lowest frame rate. What I'm attempting to get is a really good frame rate with really good graphics. So I've got my field of view at 90. I'm going to turn motion blur off. I'm going to turn weapon doff off. I'm going to keep the resolution scale at 120%. So it's going to be doing a bit of work but not too much. Texture quality, texture filtering, they're at ultra. Lighting quality and effects quality are at medium. Post process quality is gonna be at low. Mesh quality is gonna be ultra. Terrain quality is gonna be ultra. Terrain decoration, I'm gonna try on ultra because I don't really know if that setting's working. Anti-aliasing deferred is going to be off. Anti-aliasing post is going to be high. And ambient occlusion is going to be off. So those are the custom settings. There's going to be no fancy editing between the clips, I'm just going to show them raw. So with a low graphics preset on the test server, the ground is very bare, even in the sandy regions. When you go into Ultra, you can see all the ground detail and all the texture detail pops in on the objects. On the custom settings, there's very little difference, but the frame rate is about 40 higher than it was on the Ultra settings. The low settings are just immeasurable because they're bouncing off the 200 limit that the gaming puts in. So now we're going to have a look at the explosions. The explosions on the low setting don't look too bad. If you throw a grenade, it's quite a simple explosion. You get a bit of a bang and some smoke. When you try it on ultra, then you're going to get a lot more effects. You've got all the particles flying off from the barrel and they persist on the ground for quite a while. The grenade is actually remarkably similar, so you just get the bang and the smoke. Now the smoke is a bit more detailed, but it looks fairly similar. There's very little difference between the custom and the ultra, bearing in mind that custom is using medium effects quality. The only real difference is the particles of the barrel that flew off disappeared when they hit the ground, but the actual explosion and smoke is the same. When it comes to textures on the ground, low quality looks awful. It's popping in even things a few feet in front of you. On Ultra, it looks really nice. You've got a lot more grass and rocks and a lot more texture to the ground. On the custom setting, there's actually exactly the same elements on the ground. They're just lit differently, so they look slightly lighter. Scanning from the roof on low settings, you can see that fence is just appearing and disappearing. When I transfer over to the Ultra settings or the Custom settings, there's not really a lot of difference. It's the same when you come down to actually objects. When you get up close, there really isn't a vast difference between the Low, Ultra and Custom. The gun models in Battlefield 4 look pretty good no matter what the settings are. So here on Low, you can see that the gun is actually fine. When it gets to the ultra settings, you can see that that weapon depth of field is making the sight blur out, whereas what you can see through the sight is crystal sharp. And the gun model has a lot more subtle shading effects to it. The custom settings are a mix between the two. We haven't got depth of field on, so the sight is sharp, but the gun model has all the same effects on it that the ultra settings has. Now I'm going to take a trip around on a quad bike so you can see the effect of speed on those settings and if we can get any motion blur. Now on these ultra settings there is 15% motion blur but it's not really very distinguishable. The quality of the terrain is, as it is on the custom settings, much better than it is on low. But 15% motion blur is barely noticeable. 
when it comes to helicopters and flying over, well, you can see a large amount of popping on the left hand side as I fly over on low. But on the ultra and custom settings, because we've got them turned up to max and we've got that large view distance, you get virtually no popping when flying in a helicopter. Now some small items on the ground will pop in. So as I fly in lower, you can see there's a lot of popping on the low settings with smaller objects appearing. But it also happens on ultra and custom, but only for things like battle pickups. You can see here on the custom settings that the battle pickup guns suddenly appear. So that's the graphics, what about the frame rate? Well on a 980 Ti on the test server, the low settings just hit the 200 limit. But the ultra settings are consistently lower than those custom settings and it's about an average of 50 frames per second lower. Even standing still looking at boxes it's 45 frames per second slower and I'm pretty sure that's all down to that deferred anti-aliasing, that MSAA. So these graphic settings seem to do a pretty good job of providing graphics almost at ultra quality but without the frame rate hit. So these are ideal if your PC can't really run the high-end graphics. You can turn it down, not really see much difference, but get a much better performance. Or if you're recording, you can get great looking smooth videos, but counteract that performance hit you get from the recording software running. If you're still struggling for frame rate, then turn the resolution scale down to 100%, and you can turn those ultra settings down to high. Although I would leave mesh quality on ultra, because that controls your view distance. So that's it for this video. Now I know it's not very scientific and Battlefield 4 is quite an old game, but I think it shows that if you actually understand what the graphic settings in a game do, you can tune it a lot more easily to what you need out of the game. Hopefully now I can look at some graphic settings and work out what they mean and change what I need to change without just sticking to the presets. And as we've seen in Battlefield 4, those presets may look good, but they don't always perform very well. Thanks for watching.